Hello everybody, today we are going to apprehensively be having a go at playing a Journey, created by Hanky Mueller and recommended by the Mad Chess Player. So a very big thank you to the both of them, and I will go ahead and stress the apprehensively part of that intro now, because, uh, well, Hanky Mueller's puzzles tend to be puzzles that I really, really struggle with. Uh, this one is actually listed as being easy, however, Hanky Mueller is another one of those creators who has a very strange concept of the word easy. I feel like they think that if their genetically enhanced pet lab rat can solve it, then anybody can. But the last time I met a lab rat, well, he worked out that the cheese gave you a shock long before I did. Um, hated that rat, rubbed it right in my face too. Uh, we got Deadly Deadly Goo. We've got what looks like a travelating platform across said Deadly Deadly Goo. However, there's a bloody great big bit of light bridge horizontally in the way. That looks like it's clearly designed to just shove you into that goo. Uh, I do see some lasers. Laser receiver here. Large meshed off compartment with a single panel. Single panel appears to line up perfectly with a laser receiver there. And speaking of things lining up perfectly, that one by the way will get rid of fizzlers for this large wall of panels. Yeah, speaking of things lining up perfectly, um, from my experience with Hanky Mueller maps, can I, can I get back if I jump down here? Assume so? I mean, this is what I was about to try and explain. Uh, my experience with Hanky Mueller maps is that everything exists for a reason, right? They usually tend to be very clever, clean-cut, pure logic kind of puzzles. So everything is here for a purpose and there'll be nothing sort of unnecessary, frivolous or misleading. At least I hope that is the continuing trend with this one. For some people, that makes things a lot, lot easier. I tend to be more of a prod at the science until the science does the thing you want the science to do, which is, uh, well, why the rat didn't get shocked. Um, there's our exit. Let's have a look at our exit because, well, that's where we want to tend to go. Our exit appears to be already open, mockingly, and only accessible via a double switching elevator platform kind of configuration which connects to a laser receiver directly here so i'm assuming this cube delivery tube will give us a refraction cube uh let's grab one of them then it is in fact a refraction variety so yeah everything is here specifically purposely and ah oh, this is going to be a long video yeah i struggle with hanky Mueller maps um so there's a laser going straight across there goes into a single panel that side. There's also a single panel up there which would give us a laser back towards those. And why are you there other than inconvenience? You connect to this button. This button which appears to line up quite nicely with this panel with an ominous red glow that is hopefully non-lethal. You also have an ominous red glow but uh, well that one will just sting a bit from the laser. So if we put the cube on you, that gets rid of the light bridge. That's going to be clearly very, very important, right? The title is Journey. We're going to take a journey through science all around the chamber, hopefully without getting smushed up against the light bridge and pushed into the goo. So if you're on that and everything's here for a purpose, then that means this panel is so that you can do the cube and the laser at the same time. The cube and the laser at the same time, why can't I just do that? That I can't just do because Hanky Mueller has made that more complicated than I was hoping for. That only goes halfway. So we're miles away from that yet, but it's going to be some sort of swap the cube. There's only one cube, right? There wasn't another tube that I walked past somewhere. Nice curved ceilings in here. There isn't another tube somewhere. I really should pay more attention before wandering blindly about the place. There's going to be some sort of special cube laser switching relocation type move whilst we're stood. Presumably on the first one and then hop onto the second one in time. I don't think we're anywhere near needing to worry about that for now though. So what else can you do from here? Uh, since you do line up so that both things can be done through here. Oh look, the laser does not sting at all. Maybe for convenience? personal choice or maybe because we've got to go through the same portal as the laser at some point. I always mention that and it's becoming less and less relevant these days. Uh, you could also do 
if you cooperate. You could also do that one there. That, that gives us the Travelator. Which means that is how we could actually get back, right? Because if we move anything portal-wise now, uh, double check before we get smushed into a light bridge. No, the light bridge will not come on as long as you are held down. So, well, the only place I can move anything to is you. So what are we even trying to do? I feel like it's a bloody great big bit of something in the way kind of puzzle, right? Which, to me, means the cube probably needs to get over to that side. So what would be the point of getting the cube over to that side? Um, there's that panel there. And we worked out that lined up perfectly with the laser receiver in there. Which would get rid of the panels there, which just would suggest laser needs to come this way. The laser coming this way does not line up where you'd hope the laser coming this way would line up with. But it's kind of the only option, so what would I even want to move? Uh, well, if we want to get rid of those fizzlers, we have to have the laser. So the blue's got to stay where it is, meaning move the orange, travel eight. No cocky light bridge re-emergence. No, it's a hanky Mueller map. There are very rarely haha <laughs> fuck you tricks like that. Uh, oh, I thought something was broken, then it's just the end of my laser. Um, so that gets us over to this side. And I'm feeling like we need the cube over here. But what would be the point of having the cube over here? Well, the cube over here, I could do you. I could also... Well, the laser has to come through you, right? So it doesn't line up with that one specifically. But it could if the cube was over here, which is how we could control... The travelator again so I'm thinking yeah we definitely want the cube over here uh, the only way to get anywhere else back now because that's meshed off well if we do you you line up in there that gives us a way to get back and forth no it doesn't because that's goo we could go that way though we could go through that panel up onto that top level let's quickly check no there are no other cube delivery tubes so yeah, I want to get that cube over here, I think. I feel like that's what we're trying to work towards. And then I suppose if the cube's over here, it could hit that receiver there and we could manipulate the elevators. So I think that's what we want to try and work towards. Um, so if I... Well, I can't do anything now, right? Because the fizzler's going to come back. If the fizzler comes back, we can't get back. The only way through would be through the Fizzler there again, which means no portals, meaning no progress whatsoever. Uh, yeah, Hanky Mueller has a strange idea of easy. It's kind of like Demon Arisen. They put easy, but they really never, really never are. Really never are. Yeah, God, sometimes I can't speak properly. Um, so what would be the point of being able to go back over there now? I suppose well, you've got quite a big gap gives us a little pocket in here that we could do portals from, like we could do... Uh, we're still in the discovery phase, so it doesn't really matter what I mess up for the moment. Let's do you and you. And it should let us get into this side again. So from this side, I could take the cube and put it in that little pocket. Yeah, if we leave the cube in that little... Ah, wait, how do we, we use this one? We use blue on... Well, hold on, that gives us the laser... That would just give us the laser, right? That gives us the laser coming back over this way. The laser coming back over this way, we can hit this uh, receiver on the wall. And if we do you there... Really? You're too high? Really? Really? You're like a millimeter too high, are you? Okay, well, we'll go over here and shove you down like that. Okay, so we can hit that receiver there. Uh, that only does half slow, right? Which means you can't be on there yet. So we'd have to be on the first elevator first. And then have the laser hit you. But there's nowhere to do that from, is there? Because there's this giant piece of glass in the way. Also, all the fizzlers are in the way. So, something like that in a way where we can place, unplace, unplace with you? 
Well, I could move the orange onto you, which would let me get onto you, but then, yeah, still the same problem. Fizzler in the way. So, getting rid of all those fizzlers there, plus this combination of elevator panel laser swapping. Yeah, that. But, uh, I don't think we're anywhere near that still. Um, so it still feels like the cube needs to get over there. For the cube to get over there, I've basically reset everything back to where we were. So let's go ahead and put you back on the button. And bring the travelating platform all the way back over here by having you lined up. Lined up. Li lined up. I said lined up there. That's about right, right? You lined up there. And then the orange on that one. Completely missed. Let's do that a little bit better than that. I swear the laser receivers are more forgiving than that sometimes. So I could bring you over here. Button stays on cube. Nope, cube stays upon button. Then if I reposition the orange again, we can go back over here and we can try and find a way to get that cube here. So I'd kind of need to leave a portal on you. There's like no panels I can do anything with this side unless the laser's already here. Uh, well, we can do the laser already here with that one. Which does give us a bunch of panels. And then we could get back over to that side like we did by going in this little non-fizzled pocket just here. Again, it's a Hanky Mueller map, right? If he didn't want you using this gap, that fizzler array would be right up against these panels. And it wouldn't be indented like this. So that feels like that's something we're supposed to make use of. But I'd really like to keep the laser over here. I can't keep the laser over here because the only way back would then be into goo. So it has to be via up there. But then I get the fizzler again. I can't do anything. Unless the cube sits in this little pocket. So let's do blue up there. Orange on the wall here. Uh, we could then move the blue. Now, move the blue onto you gets us the laser over here. But we could do the blue on you. And we could go in here with the cube. Just realizing how tight a space this actually is when you're trying to manipulate a cube. Which would suggest this is probably not what you're supposed to do with the cube. There's not, like, really enough room to maneuver that in there without fizzling it. Um, you could... If we were slightly cheeky about it, can we quantum lean and hit that receiver over there? Like if we were now to do the blue on you. Yes. Also, never used the word quantum lean before, but totally going to use that in the future. That's perfect explanation for doing that. Got a feeling it's useless. And the TV show Quantum Lean would have been a much different experience. It would have just been Sam popping in and going, Hey, anybody need any help of anything now? And then leaning back to his normal timeline. He wouldn't have really had a show then, would you? Also, I'm now realizing how out of date a reference that actually is. Kids, if you're listening to this, Quantum Leap was a TV show from a very, very long time ago. Um, also, Sliders was better until, until that turned to rubbish, actually. Um... Can I do anything with that now, or are we still in the same position? Because the fizzler is still there, right? So we still can't do anything manipulating these and placing the portal back. No, so like that. Like that, but without a load of fizzlers there. So I need a better way to get that cube over there. Um, I've just realized, though, that the laser coming this way means we can manipulate you. Manipulating you, it only kind of gives us the Travelator, though. It's the only other real option, though. There isn't any way, and I've also moved my portals now, there isn't any way I could have unlocked... Is there a way I could have unlocked that Fizzler whilst I was over there? Um, You would have had to come back out through the Fizzler... To put a portal on you to get a laser to unlock it, but you can't do that because you wouldn't have access to putting a portal on you to actually get it because you would have crossed a fizzler. So no, quantum leaning may have been completely useless. Um, 
So you'd have to have a laser out of that one to get rid of those. So it feels like definitely a cube over there. I need the cube over there, but not locked in there. Cube locked in there is useless to me right now. So let's get another one of you by prodding your specific button. And let's get the laser coming this way again, which we could do uh, by placing you back on the button over here. The orange goes on that one. You go into there to give me the travelator. We let go of the cube, which gets rid of the light bridge, and we can go back over there ourselves by moving the... Uh, does it matter? I really want to maintain the laser whilst I'm over there, but there isn't really a way to do that and get back again. But when you get back again, you can get the laser again. So it kind of has to be this. Kinda has to be that, because don't yeah, we need the laser, right, to be able to get back again. So it has to be that one there. Into this little non-fizzlerly pocket. Fizzlerly is a awful word. Non-fizzler filled pocket. Uh then if we do We need a portal up there and then one in here. Let's just get back to this side. Then if we put the blue onto you again, that gets us the laser over here. Uh, what can we do if we hit the laser receiver for the travelator? We hit the laser receiver for the travelator. All we can do is bring the travelator over here. Which is no good because if I try to go over there again, we're going to get pushed off by the light bridge. What if I take it with me? I could take the cube with me. No, because we need the cube to not have the light bridge. That light bridge is a pain in the ass. That's the all-important bloody great big bit of something in the way, isn't it? Plus the goo, plus the glass, plus the fizzler. It's a quadruple threat of bloody great big things in the way. Um, why can I hit you? It is a map where everything is possible for a reason. There's a really big wall of those panels. Why would there be such a big wall of those panels? You could do this. We established we can do this. But the uh, halfway configuration there makes that kind of useless for now. Until we get rid of that fizz. It has to be the cube over that side. So how can I get the cube over that side but still have a laser there? I could send the cube? The journey is the cube, right? Yeah, okay. What if we do this to bring the travelator over here? And we don't go on it, the cube goes on it, because we can bring it all the way over here manually. And as long as we keep hitting that receiver, I kind of wish that portal was more over to the right now. As long as we keep hitting there, and please don't disappear when I put you down. Yeah, as long as we keep hitting there, and out of paranoia we hit quick save. I can be the cube that gets rid of the light bridge, and that would get the cube over there. So then, uh, I'm also going to need a way over there myself. So if I move the orange now, the cube will go over there. But then I don't have a way over there. If we leave the orange there by moving the blue, I can get over there, but we defizzle everything. And we don't have a laser. So it's got to be one of those two. But which makes more sense for a move I can't see yet? Um, hold on, think it through. Uh, move the orange now. Move the orange now. The cube will go over there and it will just sit there because that's the default position. And I get off of here, light bridge comes back on, but it won't touch it. So that's fine. And then I could put the blue on you and I could get over there. Where I could then... I could then just come through the fizzler, right? If we put the cube somewhere useful, where would the cube even be useful there? Somewhere that has to get rid of... Ah, the laser comes through here. Uh, the cube sat there somewhere, probably at, you know, a nice neat 90 degree angle to hit the laser receiver in the little pocket in the wall there. Okay, so blue on you. Uh, gets me into here. Shit. That's going to get knocked off. <sighs> okay, yeah, uh, that, but, you know, better. Um, 
It's getting ahead of myself there, wasn't I? Let's put the blue back on you. Luckily, we haven't screwed this too badly. We can more or less do everything again. Kind of thinking that orange might need to be a little bit more over to the right as well. Let's get a new cube and do this again. In fact, I am going to realign that orange a little bit because we can do it sneakily by going through here into this side and get like right up here because is that really as far over as you go? Yep, you're doing portal funneling. Right over here, that actually lines up with that elevator. It's a hanky Mueller map. If it lines up, it probably, probably does it for a reason. So you go onto that one. Then we can bring the travelating platform all the way back over here. Really? You're doing that thing where you're ever so slightly too high again, are you? Yeah, okay. Well, let's budge you down by a millimetre or so as well. Just a little bit lower. Yeah. All that difference. I swear, sometimes I've played maps where those laser receivers are really forgiving and let you be like practically a foot off and still work. So uh, let's quick save here. Let's do you into there so that this comes all the way into this little pocket. Thinking about it, you've almost got like a docking position, haven't you? Which I should have spotted earlier. You come all the way over here, please. And we gently, gen no, 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 cooperate. We gently do that. Yeah, you sit there. Look at that. You see that tiny little twitch? You actually moved yourself to help me there. Why didn't you do it earlier? At least, at least it's not a companion cube with its uh, frets of slicing you. Um, um, now I did something before and got completely distracted. I, I, I. Oh yeah, I, I screwed up by getting off of this button too early, didn't I? Um, so, move the blue onto you, and we stay on here. We don't get all excited and run off because the light bridge will come back. We wait until you're all the way over there. Then we can go over there because you don't come anywhere near being a problem for me. Uh, now, now I lose all portals, which I could have sworn I mentioned before and had a solution to in mind. We go through that fizzler. Oh uh, yeah, we can just go through that fizzler. Okay, you. You can come off of here. Then uh, I want you in a good place. A good place. A good place is interestingly you. Hanky Mueller map. It's a light on the floor. Is it there for a purpose other than decorative lighting? You don't line up with anything, but you do actually like line up perfectly with being where I want for here, don't you? I think that is a hint light. Because now if we can get the laser to come through there, we can hit you. If we can hit you, we can get rid of you. But then the cube's over here and not in anywhere good to do... Actually, you can do over there as well, can't you? You can hit all three of the laser receivers from this particular possible hint light. You can even do that one. Okay, okay, okay. So if you do that one, that's the one to bring the travelator over. If I need to get back. If you do that one, that gets rid of the fizzlers. And I can use those to get back. No, I can't because the laser will be above goo. Actually, no, the portal I want to go through will be above goo, but we could do it with that step again. So who do I want to try? I don't think there's any point in you, because I can't, like, manipulate which lasers where and swapping whilst on the uh, elevators from here. So... Well, it has to be that one, right? Because there's no point going back now. Well, I'd be over that side anyway. I think it's this one first. I'm going to go with this first because they seem the most useful. Uh, in that case, then I'd leave a portal on you. Doesn't matter because we're going through here anyway. So how? Wait, no. How do I do that then? Um, the laser's going to come through here instead. We don't need that one. Yeah. Okay. We do portal upon you. Portal upon you. And nothing is lined up in a good place for me. Really? Can you... Do you not... Do you not line up with that? Really? You sure you don't want to cooperate ever so slightly better? That hint light is, is not a hint light, is it? Can you... 
What about all the way? That one? Over a millimeter? Really? There, that's what I wanted. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, Because that was a pain in the ass, let's quick save there as well. So that's gotten rid of the fizzlers there. Getting rid of the fizzlers there is still useless unless we want to go back. We could go back via you and you. But then everything's in the way again. So I feel like that's progress that hasn't gotten me anywhere. Um, so if I wanted to maintain not having those fizzlers, the laser has to come out of that one. Which actually, since that's like, you know, 90 degrees, that would be straight through. So that would actually work. But why? But why? Um, there's no point using the elevator? Elevator? There's no point using the travelator because the light bridge is going to be a problem. So if I maintain a way back and forth here now... Uh, we lose the laser though, don't we? Uh... Yeah, so what can we do? I mean, I've kind of got to go back over there anyway, don't I? Um, we could send... We could send the Travelator all the way over here. With you on position there, and we could kind of line you up just a little bit better as well. Why would I want to send that over here? It's kind of the only other option. If I went over there now... What are we trying to do? We're trying to... Get the laser coming this way. In a position where we can still... Use everything. But everything gets blocked off by that panel of fizzlers. But I don't really have any other options. So fine, let's do orange over there, Fizzler comes back on. We could do going into here, uh, which we've, you know, done before. So what's the point of your other positions? We can get rid of you, or we could have you. If we have you, we could send the Travelator back. Okay, so why do I want to send the Travelator back? Uh, it can only be done from that side. Hopefully that's good. Could have sworn it was good before, but it kind of messed me around. Uh, what would be the point of moving the Travelator from over here then? If we do blue, orange. What is the point of being able to do this? What would be the point of being able to move you? So I want that panel there, really, for the laser. So what would be the point of being able to move the Travelator now? And it has to be straight through. If we respawn the cube once we had that panel, that would be straight through. That would hit the receiver in there, opening up those again. Uh, we can do that by respawning the cube. But I need to be able to get that panel there. There's no angle at all. Hanky Mueller, do you really want me to do something so deftifyingly stupid? That seems... No. Okay, um... I don't know if this will work, so let's quick save. If we do... Ah, fuck, what would it even be? It would be orange, right? What I'm hoping, and what I think is going to kill me, is there enough angle to hit that panel there? Because if we hit that panel there with the orange, no, I mean, first we hit that one, right? This starts moving, getting deftifyingly close to the light bridge. 
before we smush up into it and get shoved into the goo, is there an angle to hit that panel? Because if there's an angle to hit that panel, then this should sh come straight back, right? And save us moments before smushing. Let's uh, quick save again and try it. it, it it's, let's move the orange. Move the orange. Okay, okay. Please say there is an angle. Yeah. Okay, that. That is a really fucking cheeky little move. Because now, if we respawn that cube... Yeah, now if we respawn that cube... That laser is going to go straight across and get rid of that big array of fizzler. Yes? Those have been defizzled. Cube is back over here. Travelator moves worryingly far away. Uh, now what? Um, it feels good though. Let's quick save. So, now what? Um, so that would give us access to having the lasers coming from that side. But if I move the lasers, those fizzlers are going to come back back on but that's all right isn't it wouldn't that be fine because hold on if we that might be it actually because if we were then on this one and we move the laser into the cube that hits the receptor for these this one goes up Annoyingly, only goes halfway, but that one comes down halfway to meet it. And then we use you to move you back up. That, I think, is it. Uh, I just have to hopefully have everything lined up properly. Are you the same as that light, then? Are you a hey, put a cube here light? Uh, which would mean cube on you into you there. In fact, that lines up with that first elevator, doesn't it? Yeah, um, let's quick save here, though, and if this is wrong or I screw it up, we will jump in the goo. So, please, please, please. <sighs> I can't aim for shit. Um, can I save this? Can I save this? Uh... Blue, back on you. Orange over the tiniest amount. Christ, you should have given me that laser. Then, blue back on you. Yes, but the issue we talked about ages ago, meaning, hey, let's, uh, let's jump in the goo because that would be a far better, quicker solution. Right, yeah, okay, yeah, um, that was the problem with the glass being in the way there, right? So, I, hopefully, get a laser to go exactly where I want laser to go. You're perfectly in the middle, right? Yes. This shouldn't be the tricky part. Let's do... Where is that bloody cube? There, yes, okay, cool. Right, that, paranoia quick save means that now moving orange to you... Does the final half of the elevator rising and we have solved it. Cool, yeah. Um, apologies for the length, but again, it's a Hanky Mueller map. And I, like I've said, I really, really struggle with those. That was Journey created by Hanky Mueller. So a very big thank you to Hanky Mueller for that one. Very clean cut, clean design, perfectly everything in its place. Laser logic swap around, bloody great big thing in your way type of logic puzzle. So a very big thank you to Hanky Mueller for that one, and a big thank you to the Mad Chess Player for the recommendation, and a very big thank you to you for watching. Catch you later.